Hello people out there in YouTube land. This is a Toshiba Satellite Pro for 80 CDT running Windows 3.11 for work groups. I thought it would be an interesting video to make. And the OS is running here nice and fine. You know, I've got some basic programs on here, nothing too special. It's got the clock running down there, which is uh, about on time. Yeah, it's like a minute behind or so. Not too bad. I've got a couple of uh, programs here. For instance, I've got Microsoft Word version 2.0, which is part of the Microsoft Office 3.0 suite. I did not bother to install PowerPoint because uh, the disk is damaged for some reason. But yeah, this is just your, your basic word. You know, you can just put this graph in there. There you go. We can still go back here. Let's move that out of the way. You can change the files to like, I don't know, 70. We pull it back up. First quarter east is now up to 70. Do good. And we can close it again. Update it. Yes. Now that we've got our nice graph, we, as you can see, that is all working just fine. I really love Windows 3.11. I really do. I mean, this thing can run up to Windows 2000. And it came with uh, 98 when I got it. You know, this is just so much better. <laughs> and I'm a little bit of a DOS gamer. That's what this machine is mainly for. Because it's using a Yamaha OPL3 sound chip. And uh, everyone out there in the world of the classic hardware knows that that's a pretty good chip. It's the FM synthesizer chip that is also used in the Sound Blaster 16 cards. And the Sound Blaster Pros. So that's a really good thing. And this thing has it. It also has a built-in microphone. So yeah, I'll uh, actually uh, has pretty darn good quality uh, coming out of the speakers. So if you want me to showcase the MIDI capabilities a little bit more, let me uh, run the classic Kenyon. There you go. I guess you get the idea by now. MIDI capabilities on this system are excellent. And of course, beside the regular media player, we've got uh, my favorite version of Paint. I guess this is not too shabby with the track point. You can really be quite precise with these things, which I like very much. Uh, no, we don't want to save that. Not as much games on here yet, just a regular Solitaire Minesweeper. This of course is the Solitaire with the, uh, you know, the little sun up there, which uh, occasionally <laughs> sticks out the tongue to you, which is quite funny. At least I think it's funny. So really, like I said, there's not really much software on here. A bit of my C drive here. I've got a couple of games that work just fine. Uh, let's just run Doom here. Works rather well. Usually. In this case it doesn't. I know why. Because it didn't shut down back into DOS mode. Which means I now have to reboot the complete system. Which is a little bit of a shame. So you're only trying to showcase Windows 3.11, you're just trying to show a DOS game. And in this case, it uh, sort of refuses to boot it from in from within Windows. 
You know, I'll just pop in my uh, Wolfenstein 3D disc in a while. I'll show that, but uh, let's just uh, change to the CD games. CD Doom. And then Doom. You'll see that this time around it will work. See, there we go. The ultimate Doom. Running like a charm. Quite an enjoyable experience. Really works well. I just uh, want to go back to there. Doesn't really matter from where I call it. But there you go. That works fine. Here's my Wolfenstein 3D disc. It's a tight fit, but it works. I hope. There's absolutely no guarantee. Let's get that down there. Alrighty, let's go to our disc. Ah, this setup that exe is a little bit <laughs> too new. <laughs> This was written for Windows uh, 98, I believe. Yeah, it's not really running here. Let's run it from here. Okay, that refused. Okay, fine. Will that work? No. Uh, there we go. It. Mm, it seems there's a little memory issue going on. <laughs> Interesting. Other than that, the system is performing adequately. All the programs that need to work are working properly. I've even got all the drivers working. So as you can see there, I've got the, uh, my chips and technology six five 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 five. Well, you get the idea. Sixty uh, six thousand five 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 five. Whatever. It's a two meg graphics chip it's running in two fifty six color mode. It could run in uh, sixty million colors, but uh, there's not really a reason why you would want to do that on a Windows three point eleven. Let's let's all be honest here. So basically, what I did, I showed off the sound capabilities. And just some overall stuff. Even showed a nice epic fail in the game I tried to play. You know, there's not really much to show here. There's not really much installed, and I still have to do some experiment experimenting here. Because there, it's got a uh, video control panel and stuff. You know, everything is fine. I mean, it, it's it's a decent system. It's a decent operating system. I totally love it, and it's working fine on this thing. Just uh, it has some quirks. That's mainly because of its age, which is not really unexpected. I still have to work out the quirks, get everything working as it should, and uh, we'll have a really nice little system around here. I really am not planning on upgrading this thing back to Windows 98. Maybe 95, but nothing higher than that. That's for sure. Okay then. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I thank you for watching. And while I end the video, I will also end my Windows session. And I uh, thank you for watching.